Well, it was about a dozen years ago, and I was just getting a kind of routine checkup. I hadn't had a checkup for a while, so I wanted um, a really thorough checkup, and I asked to be tested for all the hepatitises as well. I didn't have any symptoms, um, I, but I had been feeling like a little extra tired. So that was like one of the best things I've ever done was to ask for that test because I don't think it would have been offered to me. So I was really glad I asked for it because even though I got bad news, it was news that I really needed to hear. And with that information, then I was able to really start my healing journey. There's no way of knowing how you got infected. You can know what your risk factors were. So I really think I had to have been infected for at least 20 years. But there was only a test for hepatitis C since 1991. So I could have been tested a little bit sooner, but like I said, I really had no reason to be tested because I, I was really totally symptomless. And I felt like I wanted more information. So that's when I asked for a liver biopsy. And I'll, I'll never forget, I was here at home when um, my doctor called me and his voice was shaking. And he said, I'm really surprised, but you have cirrhosis. So that's when I really started um, doing treatment, which I did for 48 weeks, you know, almost a year. Got a good result. I became a, what they call a sustained viral responder, meaning that there was no trace of the virus after six months. And now, here 10 years later, there's still no trace of the virus. And I had a liver biopsy two years after treatment, and that showed all the cirrhosis was gone. I really think the meditation helped me keep it all together. A lot of people have difficulty getting through treatment, and adherence is very important if, if you're going to be able to vanquish this virus. So I think the meditation helped a, a whole lot. So many people are at risk for hepatitis C who don't even realize it because they may not be remembering that they had a blood transfusion during some operation or um, childbirth. Um, it's, it's very widespread among people in my age group and people in their 50s and 60s. Um, many of us lived communally and we shared a lot of things, razors, scissors, um, various things. It's very widespread. One out of 50 people in the United States have hepatitis C and the majority of them are not aware of it. Um, so once you get tested, then you know. And then you have some real information and then you can, you know, really make your decisions as, as to what you want to do. And it's different decisions for, for everyone, but at least you have the information so you can make a wise decision.